like guns, I like the way they look I like the shiny steel and the polished wood I don't care if they're big or small Therefore say, what the hell, I want them all I like guns Nice like shooting, guns. Tex I like guns Okay, uh, what started off as a simple bullet pulling endeavor, I had uh, two different calibers uh, to pull a bunch of bullets from and I started off with the grip and pull I thought I was just going to end up doing a review on that and then it kind of snowballed into I'm going to do a little review on all of them to find out which one I think is the best one and I'll just start off I'm actually doing this at the end of all the experiment because uh, I started off with this thinking this was going to be fine this is the best one if you want to skip to the end, this is it. This will work if you have, you know, just a few here and there. I mean, once you have these, I mean, this, uh, for any fault I found with it, is a lot better than any of those hammer it out type of stuff. And that I, I threw mine away. So this is a squeeze. You squeeze it. Uh, I liked it because, and I bought it because, of course, it's labeled as the world's best uh, bullet puller. It's called the Grip and Pull. I think I paid 35 bucks for it. Um, but, okay, 35 bucks, it's a piece of stainless steel. That's it. Okay, <laughs> if you're going to do a lot of these things, you really got to squeeze. So, well, I take that back. You don't always really have to squeeze. It depends on how tight those bullets are. Uh, but for 35 bucks, you know, put a little rubber on these things. You know, make it a little more comfortable. But what I found out, uh, a lot of these are military crimped uh, bullets. So I had to thread my 223 ones just so I could pull those out. It would not pull those out. But I found out um, after pulling a bunch, they're actually kind of glued in. There's like a little tar on them. Uh, a little sealant to kind of seal them in. Uh, once I went to the non-crimped, this pulled them a lot better, but still, you know, you're raising it up, you know, you're setting it on there, you're squeezing it, uh, you're, it's, you know, it's for doing you know, 20 or 30 of them here and there. And then I bought this one because this one had really good reviews. So I got this one. And this one, um, just like this one, it actually pinches it in and so you buy these uh, caliber specific threads you thread it in then you screw it into your base and then you kind of find out uh, where you want it and where you get it and then you crank it up the bullet goes in you I've heard some complaints that you don't know where you're actually feeding it you can tell the difference when you're sliding along the bullet before you hit the case that's no big deal but this one, um, there, there's some leeway here. You don't really know quite how tight to turn it before you really start pinching the bullet uh, or how loose to loosen it. I mean, you can, it just flips either way. So this one, this one works, but there's nothing to really stop this thing from spinning either. So there's just a little bit of finickiness to this one. And then I got this one because this one looked like it would be the best one, and it was. This one, when you get it set, like this one, uh, when the bullet slides in, you can feel it hit the case. That's not an issue. Um, I mean, my 10-year-old was cranking them out. I mean, he's done probably three, 400 of them now. I mean, you just feel it touch. But this one, you can actually adjust, so it's like an on-off switch. It's like you just leave it there, you crank it up, flip it off, or on-off, whatever, flip it down, pop it, lift it up it drops this one you crank it down to however tight you think it might need to be you hope it's tight enough you crank it down and hope that the bullet pops out then you gotta crank it back and it's like not a specific I suppose you could probably maybe put some tape marks but it's not I don't know this is this is the easiest and fastest one on off on off I mean it it works every time and you don't you can adjust it um, because you can adjust this to just once you figure out which each uh, each bullet is crimped 
uh, a specific tightness. Uh, once you get this thing set, you can have it just just barely grip that thing, or just enough to pull it out. Um, pull it out. So this is the most adjustable. And then once you get it adjusted, which doesn't takes like three bullets, four bullets, on off, boom, feel it, pop it, done, pop it, done. Uh, so if you're gonna do a lot of them, like I have to do a lot of them, I have to do. Um, I've probably done well. By the time I'm done, it'll be about a thousand. This is the one you get. If you have 20 to, th I would just skip this one. There's no reason. If you have, you know, maybe if you're just replacing your hammer one, this one is the one to get. Or if you're just doing, you know, 20, 30 here and there, this one would work. But for the price, uh, you could get this one. Um, yeah, it, it just works. And on a side note, um, this one works with those crimped ones that I was talking about. That this one I even had to thread. This one you can get it. I had them pop in those too. So this one works, again, the best. So this one, the collet, fits inside. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a conical fit. And eventually it grips it tight enough to... Uh, cinch it. This one fits in the top side and this part here kind of pushes down and cinches it because this is uh, the bottom part is a cone so it pushes it and pinches it. And for using the grip and pull these are not marred really at all even after I threaded it. I mean, there are some little marks, uh, but you could obviously use, the, use these just, just the way they were intended. So for our test, I lied. We're actually going to do five, uh, because I was going to do the prime ammunition, uh, just because to make it fair, uh, I only had uh, for this de-bulleter, or bullet puller, I only had the 223 puller, and you know you can't have a glued 223 and a not glued 6.5 and try and make it fair. So I actually went to my Hornady bullets that are not glued, so that way everything is fair, and we're gonna pull bullets. And we're only doing five because I'm not wasting a whole crap load of Hornady bullets on just this test for you guys to see. All right, now uh, we got set up. You ready? Yep. All right, hang on. We're going to get a timer, and then we're going to do see how long it takes to do five bullets, and we'll compare the three. Are you ready? Yep. All right, go. Yep, just dump them as fast as you can. And he has had experience in all three, so this is somebody who will just bust through and do what they can do. That's five. All right. 44.44. .44. All right, let's text, uh, test Wait. the next one. All right, this is the grip and pull. I did mark the two spots for the two that I used because, you know, sometimes you're kind of looking, it's like, oh, which one is it? So I use these, and these are not glued, so it does go a lot nicer. Plus, uh, I threaded it, so it grips the bullet pretty good. Are you ready? Yep. All right, hang on. Stop watch. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, go ahead.
right now, I'm turning channels. <laughs> Plus, I gotta do like 500 of these things. See, you like them when I'm ready, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. All right. That one was 119. And I will say, uh, without those threads, he would have had to grip it pretty hard. And, again, if I was going to complain about something, these things should be $10, $15. If you're going to charge $30, put some padding or something on these, or, I don't know, re-engineer. Because uh, this, is, this is just stamped, or it looks stamped. Alright, next one. One thing I like about this one is once you get it set, um, it's just a perfect crank it down, lift it up, crank it down, lift it up. Alright, um, we'll see how long this one takes in just a second. Alright, you ready? Yep. Go. Ooh, 40.74. You stopped it too. Yeah. Actually, no, I waited until you put everything in there. So, yeah, that's an official four seconds faster. Time with, <laughs> with a little quicker yeah. lever throw. This is the nicest one as far as uh, it's easy. quickness. Yeah, you just flip it, and there's no question as to how far you pull it. You get it set. You're done. Oh, I like guns, I like the way they look. I like the shiny steel and the polished wood. I don't care if they're big or small. They're for sale. Hell, I want them all. I like guns.